In this lesson, we are going to learn how to find volume of a prism. So first of all, volume is how much um, an object can hold inside of it. Okay, so if we're talking about like a, let's do a rectangular prism to start with. So if I draw my rectangular prism, again, this is how much it can hold inside of it. So th that's a prism, and the formula for volume of a prism is V equals area of base times the height. So essentially what you do is you take whatever the base is and you find the area of that and then you multiply it by whatever the height of the prism is and that will tell you what the volume of the figure is. So let's take a look at some examples. So I'm going to start just by writing the formula. Volume equals area of base times height. So the first thing I'm going to do is shade the base. Well, in number one, you actually can't see the bottom rectangle. So um, instead of shading the bottom, if you think about, okay, what side is the same as the bottom? Well, the top is the same as the bottom, so I'm going to shade the top. And we need to find the area of the top then. Since that is a rectangle, the formula is area equals base times height. So I'm going to find the area of the top. The base of this rectangle is parallel to 3, so that's 3 and the height is parallel to the side that measures 6, so that's 6. And so 3 times 6 is 18. So the area of the base in this figure is 18. Okay, so now we have to find the height of the figure. Well, the height of the figure is if you set the figure on the base, which this one is sitting on the bottom, how tall would it be? So in this figure, it is this tall. So the height is 2. Um, the other way to look at height is it's the distance between the bases. So if you think of the base being the bottom rectangle and then the top is the other base, and how far apart is the bottom rectangle and the top rectangle? Well, in this case, it's two feet apart. So now all we need to do is multiply those two numbers together. So 18 times 2 is 36, and the units would be cubic feet. So that's how you find volume of a prism. Let's do another example. So again, I have a rectangular prism in this example, so I'm going to write the formula. Volume equals area of base times height. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is color in the base. Okay, and so the base is a rectangle, so I have to find the area of a rectangle. And that is base times height. In this rectangle, the base is 4, and the height is 7. So 4 times 7 is 28. So the area of the base is 28. The next thing we have to do is find the height of the prism. Well, again, if it's sitting on the base, which this one is, the height is how tall it would be, which is this distance right here, which is 5. You can also think of it as, here there's another rectangular base on the top. How far apart is the base on the bottom and how far apart from the base on the top? They're five inches apart. So now, to figure this out, we are going to do 28 times 5, and you get 140, and this is going to be cubic inches. So that's how much um, that box could hold. Take a look at a couple more examples. So in the next example, we have another prism, but this one is a triangular prism. However, the formula is the same. For any prism, it's area of base times height. So we're going to uh, color in the base. And in this picture, since this is a triangular prism, the base is one of the triangles. So I'm going to color in one of the triangles. And the formula for area of a triangle is one half base times height. One half, okay, so the base is 12 and the height in this case is 16. Remember, the base and the height have to be perpendicular to each other. And you can see this box in here, so that means that 12 and 16 are perpendicular. So when you do one half times 12 times 16, you get 96. So the area of the base in this case is 96. 
So the next thing we have to do is find the height. Well, in this case, the figure is not sitting on the base. So you really need to picture if we were to take this figure and pick it up and turn it and set it on its base, on the triangle, how tall would it be? The other way to think about height is it's the distance between the bases. So here's the other base. And so the question is, how far apart are the bases? Well, they are 20 units apart. So our height is 20. So we're going to do 96 times 20. And you end up getting 1,920. And this would be units because they don't give you a unit. We're just going to write units cubed, so cubic units. Okay. All right, we'll do one more example. So again, in number two, we have a triangular prism. And the volume of any prism is area of base times height. So I'm going to color in one of the bases. And since it's a triangular prism, the base is a triangle. And the formula for a triangle is 1 half base times height. Okay, the base in this case is 4.5 and the height is 5. So we're going to do 0 0.5 times 4.5 times 5 and when you do that you get 11, I'll write it over here, 11.25. So the area of the base is 11.25. Alright, so the next thing we have to find is the height. So again, in this figure, the picture is not sitting on its base currently. So you have to really picture, if we were to pick this figure up and turn it over and set it on one of the triangles, how tall would the figure be? If that doesn't help you figure it out, what you want to do is look at, okay, what are the two bases and how far apart are they? So if you look at your two triangles, they are 8 centimeters apart. So the height is 8 in this case. So now we're just going to do 11.25 times 8, and we end up with 90 cubic centimeters. So that triangular prism could hold 90 cubic centimeters. Those are some examples of how to find volume of a prism.